Hey everybody, my name is Kidlot404. Welcome back to my channel for another Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Wii U breakdown video. This time, we're going to be breaking down the new patch that's available for the Wii U, and this patch actually brings us up to date with the Xbox 360, PS3, and PC in terms of multiplayer gameplay changes, which is actually pretty cool. Unfortunately, as of right now, there are no patch notes on the official forum, so we don't know exactly everything that has changed in Black Ops 2 Wii multiplayer. However, since I recorded footage previously, to downloading the patch, I can kind of give you guys a before and after effect on certain specific things that definitely have changed in Black Ops 2 multiplayer, and that's what I want to show you guys right now. So, without further ado, let's begin the before and after effect and show you guys specific things that have changed already on Black Ops 2 multiplayer. The first thing you'll notice is that the UAV score requirement has changed. Originally it was 350, but now after the patch it is 425. Basically the developers thought it was too easy for you to get a UAV, so now they increase it and it's just that much harder, just a little bit harder, to get the UAV in Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Another score streak that has been changed is the lightning strike. Now the lightning strike has been made worse, it has been nerfed in that it takes an additional 750 milliseconds to activate and you can see the differences here in the before and after effect. Another thing that has changed is the range of the R870 shotgun. Now the range has been decreased. You can see on the left hand side I get the kill but on the right hand side at a similar distance I do not get a kill. The next thing that has changed is the recoil of hip fire from SMGs. As you can see here on the left hand side, the original before effect was that the SMGs had really nice tight spread of the bullets, but after the patch now, the bullets seem to be more spread out, making it more inaccurate for hip fire for SMGs. In terms of perks, there was actually a perk that was buffed and made better. It is called Hardwired, and I do agree that Hardwired need a buff. Basically now, Hardwired will make you completely immune to EMP grenades. Another interesting change was the addition of recoil to the FAL fully automatic when using select fire. When the FAL is fully automatic, it is a beast. It's very easy to use and it has low, low recoil. But after the patch now, the FAL has significant recoil, making this weapon a lot harder to use if you want to use select fire. And finally, a new nifty feature is that you can close the Black Ops 2 software even if you're in the multiplayer or zombies portion of the game. Before you actually couldn't do this, if you hit the home button it wouldn't give you the option to back out, but now it does, you can hit the home button and it'll take you to the menu, you can close the software, and I've done this even inside a multiplayer lobby. It's a really nice nifty feature, should have been in there from the start, but at least now we finally have it. A final funny thing to note is that if you go over to your available calling cards, you will notice that you have unlocked the Peacekeeper SMG calling card. Does this mean that the Wii U is getting DLC, the Revolution Map Pack? The unfortunate answer is no. On the official forums, a developer said that this was a mistake when importing information from the Xbox 360 over to the Nintendo Wii U. This does not mean that we are getting DLC whatsoever, it's just a mistake unfortunately. But you know, on the flip side of things, you can actually use this on your player card, so it's kind of funny. Same thing for zombies. If you go over to the zombies leaderboard you will notice that turned the new game type turned has actually been added to the leaderboards unfortunately again this does not mean that black ops uu is getting dlc at all that's pretty much it for this video guys remember guys this is not everything that has changed in black ops 2 multiplayer this is only the things that i managed to record however when on the official forums of developers post the actual patch notes I'll do a separate video discussing everything in detail on what the patch notes say, but right now that's it, my name is Killad404 and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching everybody, if you would, please like and favorite the video, it really helps my YouTube channel grow. Also you can click the annotations on the screen to watch more videos of mine, and finally, if you're new to this channel, please check out my video guide link in the description of this video. Basically it's a document that lists and organizes all my best content all in one nice neat place for you guys to peruse, so you can watch the videos that you want to watch. Thank you for supporting me, Killout404 and the Nintendo Wii U.